हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज दिव्या आचार्य पीएचडी स्कॉलर फ्रॉम बेनेट यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस टीएफ लर्न ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टीएफ लर्न एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग ऑल द कंटेंट रिलेटेड विथ टेंसर फ्लो एंड टी एफ लर्न सो गाइज लेट्स बिगेन विद द प्री रिक्विजिटी दैट इज नीडेड टू लर्न टी एफ लर्न फर्स्ट यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल एनाकोंडा एंड इट इज अज्यूम दैट यू ऑल हैव पाईचाम इन योर सिस्टम सो टू इंस्टॉल एनाकोंडा यू हैव टू टेक फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स आइदर यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम द साइट ऑफ एनाकोंडा एंड इंस्टॉल एनाकोंडा फ्रॉम there or create a conda environment named tensorflow by invoking the following command conda create dash n tensorflow python equal to 3.5 here python equal to 3.5 is the version of python that we are having in our system after downloading anaconda you have to activate the conda environment by issuing the following command that is activate tensorflow and this prompt this will change your prompt you have to issue the appropriate command to install tensorflow inside your conda environment and the command for cpu version of tensorflow is pip install ignore installed upgrade tensorflow so this will install anaconda and tensorflow inside your conda environment now as you have downloaded anaconda and tensorflow so you must validate that either this is installed in your system or not so to validate this you have to start a terminal If you have installed through Anaconda, activate your Anaconda environment and invoke Python from your shell as following. You have to type Python and write starting a short program inside the Python interactive shell. That is, import TensorFlow as TF. Here you are importing TensorFlow as TF. Then write hello equal to tf dot constant hello tensorflow we are writing a program to print hello tensorflow and then you have to declare a session that is ses equal to tf dot session and to print this hello tensorflow we are calling this session and hello in print that is print ses dot run hello so if the system outputs hello tensorflow then you are ready to begin writing tensorflow program the installation of tensorflow in your system now you have to download tf learn to install tf learn the easiest way is to run the following option that is for latest stable version you have to type pip install tf learn which will install tf learn in your system you can also install from source by running the command python setup dot py install after installing tf learn now let's start with tensorflow as we all know that tf learn is built on the top of tensorflow so we must have a bit of knowledge of tensorflow so that's why we are starting with tensorflow so what tensorflow is it is an open source library for deep learning it was developed by google brain team and released in november 2015 its latest version was launched in february 2017 that is version 1.0.0 It's an open source software library from Google that is based on machine good for training and implementing deep neural network example of tensorflow are all those application that include image recognition automated translation think google photos and translators 
It is also used in production at Uber, Snapchat, Google and others. TensorFlow uses data flow graphs to represent a learning model. This graph comprises of nodes and edges in which nodes represent mathematical operations and edges represent multidimensional data array. Those are known as tensors. It is C based with Python and C++ APIs. So this is the short introduction of TensorFlow that it is based mainly focused on graphs and nodes and edges which represents mathematical operations, tensors and so this is the whole idea of TensorFlow. Now let's start with TFLearn. TFLearn is a modular transparent deep learning library that is built on the top of TensorFlow. It was designed to provide a higher level API to TensorFlow in order to facilitate and speed up experimentation while remaining fully transparent and compatible with it. TFLearn introduces a high level API that makes neural network building and training fast and easy. This API is intuitive and fully compatible with TensorFlow as it is built over TensorFlow. The main core feature of TF learns are layers. While completely defining a model using TensorFlow operations can be time consuming and repetitive. So TF learn brings the concept of layer that represent an abstract set of operations to make building neural network more convenient and easy of tflearn tflearn features include easy to use and understand high level api for implementing deep neural network with tutorial and examples fast prototyping through highly modular built in neural network layers regularizers optimizers matrix next fully transparency is the main concept of Fully transparency over TensorFlow is the main feature of TFLearn. All functions are built over tensors and can be used independently of TFLearn. Powerful helper function to train any TensorFlow graph with support of multi input, output and optimizers are there in TFLearn. It has easy and beautiful graph visualization with details about weights, gradients, activation functions. The high level API currently supports most of the recent deep learning models such as convolutions, LSTM, Brin, batch norm, prelu, residual networks, generative networks. In the future, TFLearn is also intended to stay up to date with latest deep learning techniques effortless device placement for using multiple cpu gpus and this must to be noted that latest tf learn that is v0.3 is only compatible with tensorflow v1.0 and over now let's start with tf learn tf learn is a modular transparent deep learning library that is built on the top of TensorFlow. It was designed to provide a higher level API to TensorFlow in order to facilitate and speed up experimentation while remaining fully transparent and compatible with it. TFLearn introduces a high level API that makes neural network building and training fast and easy.
This API is intuitive and fully compatible with TensorFlow as it is built over TensorFlow. The main core feature of TF Learns are layers while completely defining a model using TensorFlow. Here is a list of all currently available layers in TFLearn. As we all know that layers are the core feature of TFLearn and following list of layers are available. That is file is core and the layer it contains is input data, fully connected, dropout, custom layer, reshape, flatten, activation, single unit, highway, one hot encoding time distributed and for the file con it has layers con 2d con 2d transpose max pool 2d average pool 2d up sample 2d con 1d max pool 1d average pool 1d residual block residual bottleneck Con 3D, Max Pool 3D, Average Pool 3D, Highway, Con 1D, comma, Highway, Con 2D, Global Average Pool and Global Max Pool. In the file recurrent, it has layers Simple, RNN, LSTM, GRU, Bidirectional RNN and Dynamic RNN. In file embedding, it has layer Embedding. In file normalization, it has layer batch normalization, comma local response normalization and L2 normalize. In file merge, it has layer merge and merge outputs. In file estimator, it has layer regression. So these were the list of all the layers that TFLearn can are also present in TFLearn. So beside layer concepts, TFLearn also provide many different operations to be used when building a neural network. These operations are firstly mean to be the part of the above layers argument but they can also be used independently in any other TensorFlow graph for convenience. In practice just providing the operation name as argument is enough such as activation equal to ReLU or regularizer equal to L2 for CON2D but a function can be provided for further customization. Here are the list of some built-in operation that is file, con file activation has operations linear, 10H, sigmoid, softmax, softplus, softsign, relu, relu6, leaky relu, pre-relu and alu. File objectives has operation softmax categorial cross-entropy, categorial cross-entropy and binary cross-entropy, comma, mean square hing loss rock ox score weak cross entropy 2d these are the operation that contains in file objectives next file that contains operation is optimizers and it contains operations sgd rms prop adam momentum ada grade filter ada delta and next file is matrix that contains operation accuracy comma top k comma r2 and the file initialization contain operation zeros uniform uniform scaling normal truncated normal xavier variance scaling file losses contains operation l1 comma L2. So this was the list of built-in TFLearn. Below are some quick example 
that are used in TF learn. So here we are declaring activation and regularization inside a layer that is FC2 equal to TF learn dot fully connected FC1 comma 32 and the activation function that we are using here is 10H regularizer that we are using is L2 and it is equivalent to FC2 TF learn dot fully connected FC1 comma 32 TF learn dot add weights regularization FC2 loss equal to L2 and FC2 is equal to TF learn dot 10 H FC2 so this can the code which we have write for activation and regularization inside a layer is equivalent to this code which which is shown in your screen next is we have to define a code that is for optimizer objective and matrix and for this we are writing reg equal to tf learn dot regression fc4 optimizer that we are using is rms prop metric is equal to accuracy and loss is equal to categorical cross entropy and this operations can also be defined outside for deeper customization that will contain code like momentum equal to tf learn dot optimizers dot momentum that contains learning rate equal to 0 0.1 weight decay equal to 0 0.96 and decay step is equal to 200 then top 5 is equal to tf learn dot matrix dot top k and we are defining k is equal to 5 here next is reg is equal to reg is the name of an variable that is equal to tf learn dot regression fc4 optimizer equal to momentum comma matrix equal to top 5 and the loss is equal to categorical cross and Tropy. So here are the quick examples that how you can define activation and regularization inside a layer or you can define operation also outside the layer for deeper customization. Talk about the training, evaluating and predicting that is done in TF learn. So training function are another core feature of TF learn. In TensorFlow, there are no pre-built API to train a network. But in TF learn, it integrates a set of function that can easily handle any neural network training, whatever the number of inputs, outputs and optimizer will be. Here is a list of all currently available layers in TF Learn. As we all know that layers are the core feature of TF Learn and following list of layers are available. That is file is core and the layer it contains is input data, fully connected, dropout, custom layer, reshape, flatten, activation, single unit, highway, one hot encoding time distributed and for the file con it has layers con 2d con 2d transpose max pool 2d average pool 2d up sample 2d con 1d max pool 1d average pool 1d residual block residual bottleneck con 3d max pool 3d average pool 3d highway con 1d comma highway con 2d global average pool and global max pool in the file recurrent it has layers simple rnn lstm gru bidirectional rnn and dynamic rnn in file embedding it has layer embedding in file normalization, TensorFlow uses data flow graphs to represent a learning model. This graph compromises of 
notes and ages in which notes represent mathematical operations and ages represent multidimensional data array those are known as tensors it is c based with python and c++ apis so this is the short introduction of tensorflow that it is based mainly focused on graphs and nodes and ages which represents mathematical operations tensors and so this is the whole idea of tensorflow here is the code example code while we are using the dnn model class and it just requires to specify the verbose argument so we are using dnn model so model equal to dnn and the network comma tensor board verbose equal to 3 and when you are saying that the tensor board verbose equal to 3 it will directly call the verbose which we have defined in the previous slide then tensor board can be run to visualize network and performance that is tensor board log dir equal to wherever you have stored that uh, your file or model that is temp tflun logs and this will help you to visualize the network and its in the future tflun is also intended to stay up to date with latest deep learning techniques effortless device placement for using multiple cpu gpus and this must to be noted that latest tf learn that is v0.3 is only compatible with tensorflow v1.0 and over the installation of tensorflow in your system now you have to download tf learn to install tf learn the easiest way is to run the following option that is for latest stable version you have to type pip install tf learn which will install tf learn in your system you can also install from source by running the command python setup dot py install next here is the graph for layers like if you are going to use different type of layer different graph will be shown in your screen which will be helpful in your network performance visualization and prediction also and evaluation also so first graph is representing convo 2d relu and activation this is the graph this is how it looks and for convo 2d and w this is the graph second one and the third graph is for convo 2d w and gradients and the fourth graph is for convo 2d and b so different type of graphs can be visualized which are shown showing layers that are used in tf learn and it's an example of visualization that tf learn contains tensorflow uses data flow graphs to represent a learning model this graph comprises of nodes and ages in which nodes represent mathematical operations and ages represent multi dimensional data array those are known as tensors it is c based with python and c++ apis so this is the short introduction of tensorflow that it is based mainly focused on graphs and nodes and ages which represents mathematical operations tensors and so this is the whole idea of tensorflow is equal to fully connected input layer 
name is equal to epsi layer 1 using tensor attributes layer will super change supercharge the return tensor with weight attributes here we are declaring the weight attributes so fc1 weights where is equal to fc1 dot w and fc1 biases where equal to fc1 dot b so here weight and biases are being declared using tensor name this can also be done like fc1 where equal to tf learn dot get layer variables by name fc layer 1 next fc1 weights where is equal to fc1 wears 0 and fc1 biases where equal to fc1 wears 1 so here we are by using tensor name you can also create a layer and declare their weights and biases to get or set the value of these variable tf learn model class implement get underscore weight methods which is shown in this example that is input data equal to tf learn dot input underscore data shape is equal to none comma 784 here we are declaring the shape fc1 is equal to tf learn dot fully connected input data comma 64 fc2 is equal to tf learn dot fully connected fc1 comma 10 and the activation function which we are using in this tf learn model is softmax net equal to tf learn dot regression fc2 model that we are using is dnn net to get values of weight in fc2 we have to write model dot get weights fc2 dot w this will initialize weight on the layer that is fc2 to assign new random weights to any layer like we are assigning a new random weight to the second layer which we have declared as fc2 we are writing model dot set weight fc2 dot w comma numpy dot random dot rand 64 comma 10 this will randomly assign the weights to the second layer that is declared by fc2 weight persistence is cleared in the previous slide now when we talk about fine tuning fine tune a pre-trained model on a new task might be very useful in many cases defining a model in tf learn you can specify which layers weight you want to restore or not when loading pre-trained model this can be handled with the restore argument of layer functions only available for layers with weights example of fine tuning here weights will be restored by default that is fc layer equal to tf learn dot fully connected input layer comma 32 weights will not restored if specified so that is fc underscore layer equal to tf learn dot fully connected input layer comma 32 restore equal to false if we define restore equal to false then weights will not restored and if we don't write anything like restore equal to either false or true then it will by default restore the weights all the weights that does not need to be restored will be added to tf dot graph keys dot excel restore where's collection and when loading a pre-trained model these variables restoration will simply be ignored the following example shows how to fine tune a network on a new task by restoring all weights except the last fully connected layer and then train the new model on a new 
data set. The example or the code which we have discussed here that is restoring the weights and not restoring the weights shows this. Now let's start with TFLearn. TFLearn is a modular transparent deep learning library that is built on the top of TensorFlow. It was designed to provide a higher level API to TensorFlow in order to facilitate and speed up experimentation while remaining fully transparent and compatible with it. TFLearn introduces a high level API that makes neural network building and training fast and easy. We are redefining or redefining convert CIFAR 10 network that is network in equal to input data and the shape which we are defining here is none comma 32 comma 32 comma 3 next layer has convo 2d network 32 comma 3 and the activation function which we are using is relu next Network equal to max pool 2D network comma 2. Next, network equal to dropout network comma 0.75. In 25th line, the code is like network equal to convo 2D network 64 comma 3 comma activation function is relu. Network equal to convo 2D network 64 comma 3 comma activation function that we are using again is relu. In 27th line we are writing code like network equal to max pool 2d and network comma 2. Network equal to dropout network comma 0.5. In the next convert CIFAR 10 network we write network equal to dropout network comma 0.5 then network equal to fully connected network comma 512 comma activation equal to relu net and the final network we write network equal to dropout network comma 0.5 so this is how we are going to redefine convert cifar 10 network then we find to in softmax layer that is setting restore equal to false to not restore its weight so here we are setting restore equal to false because we do not want to restore its weight and this is we are doing for fine tuning softmax layer so softmax equal to fully connected network comma num classes comma Activation function that we are going to use is softmax and restore equal to false to not restore its weight. Regression equal to re regression softmax comma optimizer that we are going to use is adem and loss equal to categorical cross entropy. Learning rate here will uh, 
which we are declaring as 0 0.001. Now we have to define the model. So the model is equal to tf learn dot dnn. Again we are using the dnn model and regression comma checkpoint path is equal to model fine tuning comma maximum checkpoints that we are declare, declaring here are 3 that is max underscore checkpoint equal to 3 and the tensor board verbose which we are using here is 0 and different type of tensor board verbose were already defined in the previous slide that has ver tensor board verbose 0 1 2 3 here we are using tensor board verbose 0 now we have to load pre-existing model to restore all weights except softmax layer 1 so we will write the code to load the model that is model dot load and the name of your model that is cifar10 underscore cnn this will load the pre-existing model now we have to start fine tuning so to f start fine tuning you just have to write model dot fit x comma y this contains the data set which you want to perform fine tuning over so an epoch equal to 10 comma validation set is defined as 0 0.1 shuffle is equal to true show matrix equal to true this will show the matrix and batch size that we are taking is 64 comma snapshot step is equal to 200 snapshot epoch is equal to false and the run id is equal to model fine tuning next this will perform fine tuning and now we have to we want to store the model which is fine tuned so we write model dot save model fine tuning this will store the model that is fine tuned concept that is defining how you can fine tune your model you have to define the data set and then you have to write either you want to restore the weight or not and then you can load the model and perform fine tuning and then save the model on over which you have performed the fine tuning so the next major and important concept in tflearn is data management tflearn supports numpy array data additionally it also support hd5 for handling large data sets hd5 is a data model comma library and file format for storing and managing data that are of large size it supports an ultimate unlimited variety of data types and is designed for flexible and efficient input output and for high volume and complex data the data can be of type images also so tflearn can directly use hdf5 formatted data here is an example of hd5 formatted data which is going to be used by after installing tflearn now let's start with tensorflow as we all know that tflearn is built on the top of tensorflow so we must have a bit of knowledge of tensorflow so that's why we are starting with tensorflow so what tensorflow is it is an open source library for deep learning it was developed by google brain team and released in november 2015 its latest version was launched in february 2017 that is version 1.0.0 it's an open source software library from google that is based on machine Processing and data augmentation. This is an important uh, aspect that is used in TFLearn. Data pre processing and data augmentation. It is common to perform data pre processing and data 
ऑक्यूमेंटेशन वाइल ट्रेनिंग अ मॉडल सो टी एफ लर्न प्रोवाइड रैपर्स टू ईजीली हैंडल दिस नोट द टी एफ लर्न डेटा स्ट्रीम इज डिजाइंड विद कंप्यूटिंग पाइपलाइंस इन ऑर्डर टू स्पीड अप ट्रेनिंग बाय प्री प्रोसेसिंग डेटा ऑन सी पी यू वाइल जी पी यू इज परफॉर्मिंग मॉडल ट्रेनिंग नेक्स्ट हेयर इज द ग्राफ फॉर लेयर्स लाइक इफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लेयर डिफरेंट ग्राफ विल बी शोन इन योर स्क्रीन विच विल बी हेल्पफुल इन योर नेटवर्क परफॉर्मेंस विजुअलाइजेशन एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑल्सो एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट ग्राफ इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग कॉन्वो टू डी रेलू एंड एक्टिवेशन दिस इज द ग्राफ दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स एंड फॉर कॉन्वो टू डी एंड डब्ल्यू दिस इज द ग्राफ सेकेंड वन एंड third graph is for convo 2d w and gradients and the fourth graph is for convo 2d and b so different type of graphs can be visualized which are shown showing layers that are used in tf learn and it's an example of visualization that tf learn contains also have scopes and weights sharing all layers are built over variable op scope that is variable operation scope that makes it easy to share variables among multiple layers and make tf learn suitable for distributed training all layers within inner variables support a scope argument to place variables under layers with same scope name will then share the same weight so if the scope name is in same then they will also share the same weight so this is the scope and weight how they are going to share weights and terms like if two scopes have same name then they will share the same weights also here is an example of sharing scope and weights having same name and different name so we have to define a model builder so we are defining a model builder that is def my model x and x equal to tf learn dot fully connected x comma 32 comma scope which we are using here is the layer that is fc1 and next is x equal to tf learn dot fully connected x comma 32 comma scope 
that has fc2 layer and x equal to tflan dot fully connected x comma 2 and scope is defined as out so two different computation graphs but sharing the same width can be done like with tf dot device that has gpu initialized as 0 force all variable to reside on the cpu with tf dot arg underscore scope tf learn dot variables dot variable comma device equal to cpu colon zero mod model one is equal to my model and in which you are can define placeholder underscore x if you want to reuse variable for the next model this can be done by tf dot get variable underscore scope dot reuse variable so by defining this you can reuse variable for the next model that is like with tf dot device here we are using a device with gpu colon one then with tf dot arg score tf learn dot variables dot variable comma device that is cpu colon zero model 2 is equal to my model placeholder underscore x so this model 2 will also going to reuse the model variables which you have declared for the model 1 so this is how the uh, model reusability of variables can be done from one model to the next model 16 comma gpu underscore memory underscore fraction equal to 0 0.5 the gpu memory fraction that we want to initialize for this graph is 0 0.5 so this is how graph initialization can be done This API is intuitive and fully compatible with TensorFlow as it is built over TensorFlow. The main core feature of TF learns are layers. While completely defining a model using TensorFlow operations can be time consuming and repetitive. So TF learn brings the concept of layer that represent an abstract set of operations to make building neural network more convenient and easy. Next, here is the graph for layers. Like, if you are going to use different type of layer, different graph will be shown in your screen, which will be helpful in your network performance, visualization, and prediction also, and evaluation also. So, first graph is representing Convo 2D, ReLU, and activation. This is the graph. This is how it looks. And for Convo 2D and W, this is the graph, second one. And third graph is for convo 2d w and gradients and the fourth graph is for convo 2d and b so different type of graphs can be visualized which are shown showing layers that are used in tflearn and it's an example of visualization that tflearn contains
also have scopes and weights sharing all layers are built over variable op scope that is variable operation scope that makes it easy to share variables among multiple layers and make tf learn suitable for distributed training all layers within inner variables support a scope argument to place variables under layers with same scope name will then share the same weight so if the scope name is in same then they will also share the same weight so this is the scope and weight how they are the installation of tensorflow in your system now you have to download tf learn to install tf learn the easiest way is to run the following option that is for latest stable version you have to type pip install tf learn which will install tf learn in your system you can also install from source by running the command python setup dot py install Keep prop is underscore training equal to tf learn dot get underscore training underscore mode retrieve uh, this will retrieve training variable and then only apply if you want to only apply drop out at training time you have to write tf dot co c o n d under and then the argument that you have to define is is underscore training comma apply drop out comma Lambda and in lambda you are defining x.
TensorFlow uses data flow graphs to represent a learning model. This graph comprises of nodes and edges in which nodes represent mathematical operations and edges represent multidimensional data array. Those are known as tensors. It is C based with Python and C++ APIs. So this is the short introduction of TensorFlow that it is based mainly focused on graphs and nodes and edges which represents mathematical operations, tensors and so this is the whole idea of TensorFlow. We have some training callback also because during the training cycle TFLearn gives you the possibility to track and interact with the matrix, matrix of training throughout a set of functions given by the callback interface. To simplify the matrix retrieval, each callback method received a training state which track the state example current epoch step batch iteration and matrix that are like current validation accuracy, global accuracy. So some training callbacks. In the installation of TensorFlow in your system, now you have to download TFLearn. To install TFLearn, the easiest way is to run the following option that is for latest stable version, you have to type PIP install TFLearn which will install TFLearn in your system. You can also install from concept that is defining how you can fine tune your model. You have to define the data set and then you have to write either you want to restore the weight or not. And then you can load the model and perform fine tuning and then save the model on over which you have performed the fine tuning. So the next major and important concept in TFLearn is data management. TFLearn supports NumPy array data Additionally, it also support HD5 for handling large data sets. HD5 is a data model, comma, library and file format for storing and managing data that are of large size. Processing and data augmentation. This is an important uh, aspect that is used in TFLearn. Data pre-processing and data augmentation, it is common to perform data pre-processing and data augmentation while training a model. So TFLearn provide wrappers to easily handle this. Note that TFLearn data stream is designed with computing pipelines in order to speed up we have some training callback also because during the training cycle TFLearn gives you the possibility to track and interact with the matrix, matrix of training throughout a set of functions given by the callback interface. To simplify the matrix retrieval, each callback method received a training state which track the state example current epoch step batch iteration and matrix that are like current validation accuracy, global accuracy. So some training callbacks.
weight persistence is cleared in the previous slide now when we talk about fine tuning fine tune a pre trained model on a new task might be very useful in many cases defining a model in tf learn you can specify which layers weight you want to restore or not when loading pre trained model this can be handled with the restore argument of layer functions only available for layers with weights talk about the training evaluating and predicting that is done in tf learn so training function are another core feature of tf learn in tensorflow there are no pre built api to train a network but in tf learn it integrates a set of function that can easily handle any neural network training it also has regularizers and in tf learn by adding regularization to a model it can be completed using tf learn regularizer it currently support weights and activation regularization available regularization losses can be found in here all regular regularization losses are stored into tf dot graph keys dot regularization underscore losses collection and the code that is to be written for regularizers are add l2 regularization to a variable if you want to add l2 regularization to a variable then you have to write w equal to tf dot variable tf dot random underscore normal and in which you have to pass argument like 784 comma 256 and the name is given to be as w then tf learn dot add underscore wet underscore regularizer in which you can define the w comma l2 which is the name of regularizer weight dk which you are using here is equal to 0, 0.00 so finally as all the concepts of tf learn is clear now let's start with the deep neural network classifier example here we are trying to learn to use tf learn and tensorflow to estimate the surviving chance of titanic passengers using their personal information such as gender age and different type of information that we have in the data set to tackle this classical machine learning task we are going to build a deep neural network classifier which can predict the surviving chance of titanic passengers weight persistence is cleared in the previous slide now when we talk about fine tuning fine tune a pre-trained model on a new task might be very useful in many cases defining a model in tf learn you can specify which layers weigh the installation of tensorflow in your system now you have to download tf learn to install tf learn the easiest way is to run the following option that is for latest stable version you have to type pip install tf learn which will install tf learn in your system you can also install from source by running the command python setup dot py install this api is intuitive and fully compatible with tensorflow as it is built over tensorflow the main core feature of tf learns are layers while completely defining a model using tensorflow operations can be time consuming and repetitive so tf learn brings the concept of layer that represent an abstract set of operations to make building neural network more convenient and easy some example extracted from the data sets this will give you a brief idea like how the data is or the feature content what type of data
Finally, we have divided our class into two that is there are two classes in our task not survived which will be represented by class 0 and the survived persons are going to be represented by class 1 and the passengers data have 8 feet. So finally as all the concepts of TFLearn is clear now let's start with a deep neural network classifier example here we are trying to learn to use TFLearn and TensorFlow to estimate the surviving chance of titanic passengers using their personal information such as gender age and different type of information that we have in the data set to tackle this class labels this is the code if for that that import numpy as num import TFLearn download the, if you want to download the titanic data that is the must uh, thing which we we will have so to download the titanic data set you have to write from tflearn.datasets import titanic titanic dot download underscore data set and this will download the data set that is stored in the titanic underscore data set dot csv file now we have to load csv file indicate that the first column represent label we have to do write the code like from tflearn.data underscore utils import load underscore cvs csv data comma labels equal to load underscore csv that contains argument titanic underscore data data set dot csv comma target column equal to zero comma categorial labels equal to true and n class is equal to this API is intuitive and fully compatible with TensorFlow as it is built over TensorFlow. The main core feature of TF learns are layers. While completely defining a model using TensorFlow operations can be time consuming and repetitive. So TF learn brings the concept of layer that represent an abstract set of operations to make building neural network more convenient and easy. Finally, we have divided our class into two that is there are two classes in our task not survived which will be represented by class 0 and the survived persons are going to be represented by class 1 and the passengers data have 8 feet. and convert all the data in numerical values and it will also convert sex in uh, in 0 and 1 values and to build a deep neural network finally we are building a three layer neural network using tflearn we need to specify the shape of our input data in our case each sample has a total of six features and we will process samples per batch to save memory so our data input shape is none comma six None stands for an unknown dimension, so we can change the total number of samples that are processed in a batch. Labels. This is the code if for that. That import numpy as num import tflearn. Download the, if you want to download the Titanic data. That is the must uh, thing which we we will have. So to download the Titanic data set, you have to write from tflearn.datasets import Titanic Titanic dot download underscore data set and this will download the data set that is stored in the titanic underscore these are also present in tf learn so beside layer concepts
true and this is the output that you are going to get after running that code in the future tf learn is also intended to stay up to date with latest deep learning techniques effortless device placement for using weight persistence is cleared in the previous slide now when we talk about fine tuning fine tune a pre trained model on a new task might be very useful in many cases defining a model in tf learn you can specify which layers weight you want to restore or not when loading pre trained model this can be handled with the restore argument of layer functions only available for layers with weights labels this is the code if for that that import numpy as numpy import tf learn download the, if you want to download the titanic data that is the must uh, thing which we we will have so to download the titanic data set you have to write from tf learn dot data sets import titanic titanic dot download underscore data set and this will download the data set that is stored in the titanic underscore data set dot csv file now we have to load csv file indicate that the first column represent label we have to do write the code like from tf then we have to build the neural network which we have already defined uh, we have which we all have already discussed then define the model that is model equal to tf learn dot dnn net start training by applying gradient descent algorithm which is already being discussed so let's and then we have created some data set for dicaprio and winslet and then pre-process the data and predicted the surviving rate so this is the whole model that is being used to predict the surviving chances of titanic passengers and this is the best application that is the best example of tf learn so at the end i will conclude that tf learn is a very good tool that is built over tensorflow and it has some more advanced features than tensorflow thank you